When it comes to accessing your external devices, and what I mean by external devices is something that you want to hook up to your computer like your camera. Maybe you want to download photos from your camera to your computer so you can burn them to DVD and you can hand them out to your friends. Or maybe you want to hook up an external hard drive so if something happens to your computer, well before it happens you can do a lot of backup to that external hard drive. In any case, you got three ways to access those external devices. First of all, you have to plug them in and typically it's through a USB cable plug one end into the external device and then the other end into the computer, the USB port. For example, I got an external hard drive here. One end of the USB cable is plugged into it and then the other end I just go ahead and plug it into the USB port on my computer. And when I do, I'll show you one of three ways to access the information off of that device. And here's one way, just wait for the autoplay pop-up window. I've only got one option. I mean, it's very basic. It's uh, an external hard drive. If there was more to it, I'd have more additional options, but it's really simple. Just go ahead and click on Open Folder to view the files on that external hard drive. And here up in the address bar, it's my 149 gigabyte external hard drive. I named it that because it reminds me that I only have so much space, approximately 149 gigabytes, and then down below the contents therein. I've got two folders, my music files, my backup, and then my WMA or Windows Media audio files. So that's one way to access the information on those devices is just plug and play and wait for that autoplay window to pop up and then go ahead and choose from one of the options that may be there but I just had one. The second way after you plug it in if you miss that window or it doesn't pull up or you closed out of it just go ahead and either well if you have the computer on your desktop double click on it or close out come down here and click on the start button and go to computer. Pulls up the same window. And here you can see a list of all the devices, not only external devices like the one we just plugged in, double click on it, opens up and there's my music files. Hit the back arrow. But I have also other external hard drives, two of them here. And then I have my internal hard drives. The C drive is always the main internal hard drive. And then I have the factory hard drive which means that if something happens to my computer and I lose everything, I'm hoping that I can go ahead and take the computer and format it to back to its original factory condition so I can clean any bugs or viruses that may have infected it. But keep in mind that when you do restore it to its factory condition and all the files are stored on this drive here that it will wipe your computer clean. I wouldn't say that it would wipe it clean enough to want to sell it but again you want to watch my training video on selling computers and how to wipe it completely clean. Well let's be safe before you restore it back to its original factory settings back everything up. And then I have a secondary internal hard drive here, okay? And then over here, of course, I've got my Blu-ray drives, one for writing, one for reading. Well, actually, I can read and write on this one and only read it from that one. And then other, they call them removable disks, but actually they're just little ports on my computer for my SD cards so I can, you know, pull those SD cards out of my camera, plug them into those ports, and be able to also download images from that instead of connecting my camera through a USB cable. I mean, there's more than one way to get information off a device. and So that's the second way that you can access your attachable devices and the information therein. I'm going to go ahead and close out. The third way, not my favorite, but it's still there. Click on the Start button. Go to the Control Panel. And then under Hardware and Sound, go ahead and click on View Devices and Printers. Give it like 5 or 10 seconds while it figures everything out. Now when it comes to viewing information on these, uh, well, external hard drives or if you have a camera attached through a USB cable, you can't double click on them to open them up. Like for example this simple drive, if I double click on it, nothing, I just get the properties. To be able to access the files or the contents on this simple drive, I can do it one of two ways, at least again within this view, devices and printers here. I can either right click and go to browse files, and well there it is, 149 gigabyte, my drive. Click on it, opens up, let me click the back arrow, the second way is to select it and then come up here on the command bar and click on Browse Files drop down arrow. There it is again. Click on it and, well, there we go. My two folders containing my music files. So those are the three ways to get access to your external devices once you hook it up to the computer. Now when it comes to removing those devices, I don't recommend that you just unplug them from the computer, but Windows 7 has a safe way to, well, let's say stop the device before you unplug it because if you don't stop the device and maybe there's information flowing back and forth between your external device and the computer, if you unplug it while it's talking back and forth, you may have some damaged files. 
So the safe way to be able to power down the device or to keep it from talking to the computer so information is not going back and forth and then you can go ahead and unplug it safely is to come down here in the notification area, click on it, that little triangle, and then come up here in that little USB plug with the green circle. When you hover over it, it says safely remove hardware and eject media. Go ahead and click on it and then give it five seconds while it figures everything out. And then it'll give us a little menu of options and I can eject well, three devices here, the least of which is my 149 gigabyte N drive. Go ahead and click on it, give it a few seconds until it tells me, okay, you're safe to remove that USB device. So I can go ahead and just unplug it, and then let's see if it's still there. Let me come up here and double click on the computer, and, and my 149 gigabyte is gone. No longer showing here because it's no longer plugged in. Now, another way to go ahead and eject it is that you can come up here and open up the computer and right click on it. And there should be an eject here within the menu. I'm not showing it in mine, but if there is, you can go ahead and eject it there. And it works well in Windows 7. It'll actually eject or give you the little safety window that says, okay, you can go ahead and safely remove the device now, okay? And I'll be honest with you, I just usually rip the USB cable out before I actually come down here and click on the safely remove hardware and eject media icon. And, you know, stop it from communicating back and forth between the computer and the device. Haven't had any problems yet by just unplugging it before I use the safely remove option, but still it's good practice. It's a safe way just to make sure that you're not sharing information back and forth before you unplug it or anything else that might happen during the process. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.